evening and welcome to the evening news for today, Thursday, December 22, 2022. I am Jemima Holmes. Thank you for tuning in. Now let's take a look at some of the lead stories tonight. Robotics to be introduced in Guyana's modern healthcare system, says President Ali. No year-end promotions for police officers, says Top Cop. Suspect in 400 million gold heist stabbed to death. Dozens of leases handed over at GL and SC working to clear backlog and government to create laws for patients' privacy amid digitalization of records, says Health Minister. Now for the news in detail. President Dr. Irfan Ali has revealed that as Guyana pushes to build a healthcare system that is globally recognized, part of that modern medical service would include the use of new technology such as robotics. Here is Vanu Manikchan with our lead story tonight. Speaking at the White Coat Ceremony of the University of Guyana's newly graduated doctors, President Dr. Irfan Ali expressed that they are entering the medical profession at an exciting time in the country. History. We are investing in a new series of equipment so that you will have the best possible tools available to help you in the future. And it's not only to position our health care for our national needs. The long game is to position Guyana as an important medical hub globally that will offer services to the rest of the world and be a foreign currency market. That is why we are moving into stem cell, infrastructure, technology, speciality, and robotics. We are moving full speed ahead in bringing up the speed of our medical system to allow robotics to be part of the medical care delivery. On the other hand, Health Minister Dr. Frank Anthony charged the graduating doctors to be prepared to step up to health challenges. We don't expect that when we have challenges like pandemics and so forth, that people would hide away. We want you to come to the front because you were trained to do this and you must be able to come out and deliver on this. This pandemic that we are going through, it's not going to be the last one. We have seen many other pandemics before. This one has been a little bit more challenging. But believe me, there are going to be others that are coming down the road. And we are right now working to be better prepared. Meanwhile, Vice Chancellor of the University of Guyana, Dr. Paloma Mohammed, lauded the newly graduated doctors for their resilience and determination shown during the recent years. And you are amongst the brightest, the best survivors. I don't want you to take this lightly. Do not take this lightly. Because for every one of you who succeeded and who is a doctor today, there are three others who had to do something else. We couldn't take them in. As we venture out into the world, let us keep the pride and the gusto. Remember what it means to be a doctor. Upkeep this oath that we took today and remember to give thanks always to the person who helped you get there. And when we're there, we must raise our collective voices and enlist the aid of others in putting redress of inequality poverty and poor health at the center of our agenda. It is up to us to respond to the challenge. We have come up, we have to come up with meaningful ideas, creative approaches and important discoveries, whether we venture into medical, science, medical practice or medical business. Reporting for the Evening News, Fanu Manak Chand. Police Commissioner Clifton Hicken has announced that there will be no year-end promotions this year for officers of the Guyana Police Force. Andrew Carmichael reports. We into the festive season, and like I said, I'm going to be transparent. Unfortunately, we are not going to do any promotion for this year end because our promotion that came out was the largest ever, and so we filled the slots. But what I can do, as we're in the season of giving, Commander, you've been doing well, and I want to applaud this to you your leadership and most of all the support you'll be getting from your junior ranks and because of that, I wanna admin. 
Uh, ben seems to be in a good mood. That's right. That's right. Oh, I want to reward you for your good work with a sum of $400,000. Yeah! Police Commissioner Clifton Hickens speaking during the Guyana Police Force's annual award ceremony in Region 6, East Burby's Quarantine on Thursday. Hickens also announced that some police officers will receive Christmas and Boxing Day off duty. In contrast, others will get Old Year's Day and New Year's Day off to balance family time while still remaining committed to their roles and responsibilities as members of the police force. I just want you to note, officers and junior ranks, for the Christmas season, we're going to maintain our prime fighting posture. For the Old Year's and New Year's season, we are going to continue our crime fighting posture. But the commander was instructed, some of you will be given Christmas Day and Boxing Day off with your loved ones and your family, and some of you are going to be given Old Year's and New Year's so we can balance our family time, but more importantly, remain committed based on our roles and responsibility, members of the Guyana Police Force of the Senior Superintendents of Police, Calvin Brutus, Errol Watts, Kyle Persram, and Crime Chief Wendell Blanham are among eight senior police ranks who were promoted to Assistant Commissioners of Police, effective July 3, 2022. Senior Superintendents Faisal Karim Bash, Ravindra Dat Budram, Kurlij Simon, and Mahindra Sunarine completed the list of promotions to Assistant Commissioners. In addition, a list of 11, including Regional Divisional Commander Superintendent Dion Moore, Superintendent Khalid Mandel, and Superintendent Budnarine Posad and Superintendent Raphael Rose were promoted to senior superintendents. 21 officers were promoted to superintendents of police, 25 to deputy superintendents, while 42 were promoted to assistant superintendents of police. A list of 21 were promoted to assistant superintendents on probation, four cadet officers, six the chief inspectors, while 97 were promoted to inspectors of police. In the junior promotion list, 104 were promoted to regular sergeants, 109 to corporals, and 85 to lance corporals. Andrew Carmichael, The Evening News. In a ceremonial act of handing over, dozens of leases have been given out to recipients through the Guyana Lands and Surveys Commission as it works to clear a backlog that existed pre-2015. Here are the details. Prime Minister Mark Phillips handed over dozens of leases through the Guyana Lands and Surveys Commission in conjunction with the Office of the President on Wednesday at the Arthur Chung Conference Center. The senior government official told the recipients that the distribution exercise is a promise delivered by the government through its manifesto. He reminded too that the government also promised to reverse land rent, a promise which was delivered. The rent, as you know, were doubled and in some cases tripled. Example, land on the highway was moved from $100 per acre to $400 per acre, and this is now returned to $100 per acre. The Prime Minister also praised the Commission for its efforts to provide leases to a number of females, noting that this provides opportunities for empowerment. And I'm always overjoyed when I see a lot of women collecting leases because we are empowering our women. And that's another um, promise that we made to the people of Guyana. We want to see more women involved in owning property, in establishing businesses, owning their own homes. Because you know the old saying, when you help a man or you educate a man, you help or educate an individual. But when you help or educate a woman, you educate a family. Meanwhile, Chief Executive Officer of the Commission, Enrique Moniz, explained that the agency had to deal with a backlog that existed prior to 2015. The CEO noted, too, that the demand for land has risen incredibly. In 2021, we had over 5,000 requests for land. And currently, we have over 5,000 requests for land in Region 4 alone that is pending. The challenge, he explained, is not necessarily availability of land, but rather accessibility. Most persons who come to the Land and Surveys Commission, they will ask you, I want a piece of land close to the road and next to a creek. That has been the, 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 the basic thing. Now, 
I don't know, we have many creeks. And we have a few roads. So in order to, 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 to meet that criteria, it has to be a very selective process. We now tell you that a vendor who usually plied his trade on Regent Street, Georgetown, was on Wednesday evening reportedly stabbed to death while selling on the pavement. Dead is 22-year-old Mark Singh of her selling East Bank Demerara. The stabbing occurred at about 19 hours on Regent Street between Avenue of the Republic and King Street, Georgetown. According to family members at the scene, someone walked up to Singh as he was selling and began stabbing him about his body. Singh immediately buckled and fell to the ground. He bled out and was later pronounced dead. Singh had been a suspect in the 400 million gold heist that occurred between December 2021 and January 2022 at the home of a businesswoman of Mahaika, East Coast Demerara. Singh was among five persons who were wanted in that 400 million gold heist. Police have said that Singh, in the company of four others, stole 1,000 ounces of raw gold worth 400 million from the businesswoman. It was reported that the businesswoman discovered the gold missing only when she went to check in September, and she immediately contacted the police. Coming up, over 4,400 Guyanese employed through ExxonMobil and winners of Ansem McCall Trin Chloro Christmas promotion drive off with cars. Do stay with us. More news ahead. This Christmas, give the gift of life by protecting your loved ones against vaccine-preventable diseases. The Ministry of Health's nightly vaccination campaign continues throughout December at the Ministry of Health tarmac up to 7 p.m. Mondays to Saturdays. Administration of the HPV vaccine for children begins from 9 years old. So come out adults and bring your children to get vaccinated against HPV. But that's not all. Since it's a season of giving, we are gifting back to school supplies to children receiving HPV and COVID-19 vaccines throughout December. Adults, gifts for you too when you are vaccinated at the Ministry of Health, Brickdam, on December 25th, 26th and 31st from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. For more information, contact us at 226-8171 or 226-3103. Vaccinate what you create. A message from the Ministry of Health and UNICEF. Superbet com certeza a sua melhor escolha. Com mais de 200 jogos online com Superbet, você aposta é para ganhar. Cadastre-se hoje, tá esperando o quê? Basta acessar o www.superbet.gy. Clicar em registrar e você já está apto a participar. Lembrando que o Superbet não é recomendado para menores de 18 anos. Optic offers great patient care that is tailored for my entire family. At Opti, a wide selection of affordable optical frames and optical services are available to fit your budget. At Optic, my family is provided with comprehensive eye examination and access to the ophthalmology services, all under one roof. Optic takes pride in delivering exceptional customer service and a unique experience to you, our customers. Optic Vision Care is a company that is Guyanese born and grown that will help you take care of your precious eyes. This Christmas, give the gift of life by protecting your loved ones against vaccine-preventable diseases. The Ministry of Health's nightly vaccination campaign continues throughout December at the Ministry of Health tarmac up to 7 p.m. Mondays to Saturdays. Administration of the HPV vaccine for children begins from 9 years old. So come out adults and bring your children to get vaccinated against HPV. But that's not all. Since it's a season of giving, we are gifting back to school supplies to children receiving HPV and COVID-19 vaccines throughout December. Adults, gifts for you too when you are vaccinated at the Ministry of Health, Brickdam, on December 25th, 26th and 31st from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. 
For more information, contact us at 226-8171 or 226-3103. Vaccinate what you create. A message from the Ministry of Health and UNICEF. Welcome back. You're watching the Evening News. Laws will be drafted in the new year to enable privacy of patients in the health system in light of the digitalization of records in the sector. Rupa Sinarain tells us more. Health Minister Dr. Frank Anthony delivered an address at the launching of the first nursing assistant program in Region 2 on Wednesday, where 46 students commenced their 18-month stint and will be employed by the Health Ministry upon successful completion. There, he announced that electronic documentation will be an integral part of the Health Ministry's operations, where laws will have to be created to ensure confidentiality. So this is something that we are also working on to make sure that our records over the next uh, three to four years uh, would be totally ele electronic. And therefore, that is something that you would also have to train for, uh, to make sure that you understand how to operate the system. It also speaks to privacy because you would now have such vast amounts of information uh, because you would be seeing this patient's whole life history in many instances. And therefore, there must be privacy laws that would be in place. The health minister announced that work has already commenced to have legislation in place, and this is likely to materialize in the new year. Within 2023, the ministry is also aiming to commence a pilot of the digital system. One of the things that we have already started working on is to make sure that by sometime next year that we'll be able to pass the relevant laws to allow for digital or electronic uh, record systems, but also to create a legislative environment uh, to ensure that these records and people's information are kept safe. With an electronic system, a patient's data and medical history will be stored on a database and can be easily accessible by the medical professional on duty when that person visits a health facility. Rupa Sinarain, The Evening News. Since it first discovered oil in Guyana's waters in 2015, oil giant ExxonMobil has spent more than $140 billion on local suppliers and is responsible for over 4,400 Guyanese being employed to support its activities. Details in this Gerald Bryan report. In a statement released on Wednesday, ExxonMobil explained that over the past seven years, over $140 billion has been spent on local suppliers. Asked how the country has benefited from local content, ExxonMobil's country manager Alistair Rootledge had this to say. We have now achieved more than 4,400 Guyanese who are working in our industry. Uh, I think that's more than 50% of the workforce, which when you think of the training that's been required to you know, build up the workforce in the country, it, it speaks to the, the early commitments that we made around things like the Center for Local Business Development starting in 2017. But along that way, working with other organizations like the TVET schools, um, with the ministries to ensure that people are, are well trained and available and able to contribute and play an important part in developing the nation's resource. ExxonMobil is also collaborating with the government to develop the Ghana Technical Training College, Inc. The institution is intended to deliver world-class training and certification to Guyanese workers in skills areas vital in both oil and gas and the broader economy. We take our corporate social responsibility as seriously as we do our commitments to growing the business uh, and, and delivering job opportunities for people. And so, uh, as, as many are aware, our core focus areas are on STEM education, uh, community building, women, uh, empowerment, female empowerment, uh, and, and protecting the environment. And so both as ExxonMobil ourselves and through our contribution budgets and the projects that we've embraced, and of course the Greater Ghana Initiative, we've, we are making some significant contributions to the community uh, and to the development of the society in the country. 
Meanwhile, ExxonMobil's Great Again initiative is a 10-year, $20 billion program under which the company and its Tabrook Block co-venturers will fund capacity building projects. Exxon itself has had a packed year project-wise with nine oil discoveries and the startup of the Liza Phase 2. Gerald Bryan, The Evening News. For the year 2023, the Guyana Police Force will be placing greater emphasis on technology, training, recruitment and partnership. Lawan McAllister reports that this was announced by both Crime Chief Wendell Blanham and Police Commissioner Clifton Hicken. This announcement was made at the Criminal Investigation Department's annual Christmas Luncheon and Awards Ceremony at Police Headquarters Evaleri Georgetown on a Tuesday. According to Police Commissioner Clifton Hicken, the police force is going through a modernization process. We are having our buildings built to minimum standard with all the requirements for contemporary policing. We have system in place to have them sustained. More importantly, we've been aided by, we started off as a smart city, and in the days to come or years to come, we are gonna have a smart country. We've already commenced the decentralization of the command center across the 10 administrative regions of Guyana, and by extension, the 12 administrative regions of the Guyana Police Force. This will aid our crime fighting posture in an intelligent-led way, and so we're going to have real-time information without causing inconvenience. He said in order to maintain their posture and professionalism, it is important to develop their capacity with the most important resource, which is human resources. Hickens added that the first step in their upgrades is to change the name of the police training school to that of an academy. We've commenced preparation for that. If In fact, we are registered now. We've achieved academy status, so the change in name will complement our current posture. But importantly, we're going to train from the last constable to assistant commissioner. They will be graduating from the training school with accreditation. Of course, we prepared our, our officers and instructors at the University of Guyana to deliver those lectures. In fact, as I speak, we have officers lecturing to students of the University of Guyana at a master's level. He said it is his intention to have a force that is second to none and they have already started seeing improvements, especially in the breakthrough of cases. He added that this is mostly because of the force's relationship with members of the public and stakeholders. Meanwhile, for 2023, the crime chief said that the CID's team of forensic video analysts will be exposed to further advanced training to enhance their investigative skills. In addition, 60 ranks will be targeted for training before they are inducted into the Criminal Investigation Department. He related that this will continue to produce high-quality investigations and strengthen its cooperation and partnership with all the relevant stakeholders. Lawanda McAllister, The Evening News. And McCall Trading Limited on Wednesday handed out all final prizes in the Trinchloro White Christmas campaign at its Better for Acting head office on the east coast of Demerara. Here is this story. Receiving cars were Carrie Buncher, Narissa Teresa, and Kestine King. They all drove away with Toyota Axios. In addition, there were other grand consolation prizes that were up for grabs, which include two trips for two to any Copa destination, one cash prize, and two shopping sprees, along with two Apple iPhone 13. The promotion kick-started on October 1st, 2022 and ran until December 11th. Head of Consumer Goods, Sabrina Bejan Kishore, had previously noted that a Trinclora White Christmas promotion is in keeping with Ansel McCall's core values to provide excellent services to our customers. She said their promotions recognize the need of their consumers by giving them chances to win prizes relevant to their sustainability. In order to win the prizes, customers had to submit any Trinclora label with their names, contact number, and address into the Trinclora White Christmas Promotion box available at 6 to 5 leading supermarkets nationwide. At the giveaway ceremony, the winners expressed how elated they were to win big this Christmas. I am very excited and a little bit shocked because I didn't expect it. <laughs> I didn't expect it. I heard my mother was watching it 
and I heard she's screaming. So I thought someone died. And then she telling me she hear my name call. And we wanted to buy a car for so long, so I'm happy. And I'm so excited to be one of the winners of Barbies for this car. Um, entering the promotion for me was a bit of an excitement because the day of the promotion, I was so excited of winning an iPhone 3 because my phone wasn't working so good. So I entered the promotion hoping on winning the, fo um, the phone and when the promotion finished, I didn't win the phone, but I still continue playing the promotion. And Trinkler bleach is a bleach I would use every day, every morning to wash, to wipe out, wipe on the counter. So it's a bleach I would use every day so I would have a lot of bleach bottle at home because every week we would purchase <laughs> a bottle of bleach. And we went down to town to get a bike for my husband and it was a bit of a disappointment on getting the bike so I tell him I said babes don't stress next year we can buy the bike and hearing the day of the promotion that I win the car was like so exciting my name is Kerstin King and I am a winner of Trin Coloro Christmas promotion I won a brand new car this morning and I am so so excited actually um, I usually buy Trin Coloro Beach and the one that I bought, the entries that I used, was for my Christmas cleaning. So I told my husband to drop in the entry. I'm not sure where he dropped it, but wherever he did, that was the lucky place. And I'm so excited this morning. I'm overjoyed and happy for a Christmas gift to myself. And I must thank Anthony McCall and management for such a promotion like this. I'm looking forward to more. <laughs> and Trinkler is the best. And now for a look at the bridge reports. The Demerara Harbour Bridge is scheduled to be closed on Friday, December 23rd at 4.15 hours for a period of one and a half hours. Meanwhile, the Burbies River Bridge will be closed to vehicular traffic on Friday, December 23rd at 17.40 hours for a period of one and a half hours. Foster hails 2022 as a better year in Burbies cricket and St. Benedict to oppose Waramadong in KFC Goodwill Final. Details of these stories in this podcast is sponsored by MacCorp, coming up on the other side of the break. This Christmas, give the gift of life by protecting your loved ones against vaccine-preventable diseases. The Ministry of Health's nightly vaccination campaign continues throughout December at the Ministry of Health tarmac up to 7 p.m. Mondays to Saturdays. Administration of the HPV vaccine for children begins from 9 years old. So come out adults and bring your children to get vaccinated against HPV. But that's not all. Since it's a season of giving, we are gifting back to school supplies to children receiving HPV and COVID-19 vaccines throughout December. Adults, gifts for you too when you are vaccinated at the Ministry of Health, Brickdam, on December 25th, 26th and 31st from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. For more information, contact us at 226-8171 or 226-3103. Vaccinate what you create. A message from the Ministry of Health and UNICEF. It's November already and soon it will be Christmas. So we at John Lewis Styles are giving away one Amazon Echo Show every week in November and every day in December. Stream music and videos. Make video calls and control smart devices. Alarms, reminders and lots more. Every $5,000 spent gives you a chance to win when you shop for clothing, footwear, watches, fragrances, handbags, luggage and accessories. So visit us on Waterloo Street. John Lewis Styles, simply different. This Christmas, guess what? You're guaranteed to save big right at National Hardware Limited. Shopping for Christmas trees? We've got all sizes from the traditional to the ones with a modern twist. Garlands, wreaths, lights and Christmas inflatables are what you need to bring that Christmas cheer. Out with the old and in with the new. We've got curtains, carpets and so much more to spruce up your home for the holidays. Save time too and get presents for both boys and girls whether big or small. National Hardware has you covered in more ways than one this holiday season. Check out our Superstore at 13-14 Industrial Site, Romvelt. 
telephone number 231-1091-95. Or downtown at 70-19A Water Street, telephone number 227-1961. Miners, welders, and contractors, have broken parts caused you tremendous downtime? Do you need an extra heavy-duty, dependable welding machine that will get the toughest jobs done and can also double as a generator to power all of your tools? Well, your number one industrial solutions provider, Sylvie's, has you covered. We currently have in stock the Hobart Champion Elite Arc Welder and Generator. This capable electric start generator produces up to 11,000 watts of AC power to run tools, work lights, or backup power during an outage. It can simultaneously deliver 150 amps weld output and 8,000 watts of generator power and can run up to 14 hours on one 12-gallon tank of gas. This portable generator handles mild steel, stainless steel, and cast iron with a maximum thickness of half inch in a single pass. So what are you waiting for? If you can't make it our 31 High and Hatfield Streets Georgetown location, we can deliver. Give us a call on 227-6226 or WhatsApp us on 623-7755 or visit our website, sylviesonline.com. Sylvie's Industrial Solution, proudly serving Guyana for over four decades. This Christmas, give the gift of life by protecting your loved ones against vaccine-preventable diseases. The Ministry of Health's nightly vaccination campaign continues throughout December at the Ministry of Health tarmac up to 7 p.m. Mondays to Saturdays. Administration of the HPV vaccine for children begins from 9 years old. So come out adults and bring your children to get vaccinated against HPV. But that's not all. Since it's a season of giving, we are gifting back to school supplies to children receiving HPV and COVID-19 vaccines throughout December. Adults, gifts for you too when you are vaccinated at the Ministry of Health, Brickdam, on December 25th, 26th and 31st from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. For more information, contact us at 226-8171 or 226-3103. Vaccinate what you create. A message from the Ministry of Health and UNICEF.